students in the last session we are detailly seen about the gravitation force and the electromagnetic force for the four forces last classes we are study about the two forces gravitation force and the electromagnetic force now we are going to see the remaining two forces the next force third one is a strong nuclear forces so it is a strong attractive force which binds the proton and the neutron in the nucleus so inside the nucleus we are already know that the atoms consist of the nucleus that nucleus contains a proton and a neutron and the electrons are revolving around it so this is the electron which revolves around the orbit outer orbit of the nucleus so the electrons are revolving around the nucleus. so see the proton that is a nucleus inside the nucleus there is a protons are present so there will be a proton proton repulsion will occur so that proton proton repulsion will be overcome by some forces is called as a nuclear force again i will say that so inside the nucleus there is a proton so proton is a positive charge and a neutron is a zero charge that is a neutral charge so let us consider it is a chlorine atom means 17 protons and 17 electrons are revolving around it the proton 17 proton present only in the nucleus itself so due to the electrostatic repulsion the positive positive always must repel each other hence the stability of the nucleus must be break but it is not break always the 17 protons are present inside the nucleus of the chlorine itself this is because apart from that electrostatic repulsion between the proton and the proton there is a one attraction take place that attractive force is a new strong nuclear force it is a very short range force that is this range this force will be applicable whenever the two protons are the distance between the two protons are less than 10 power minus 15 meter if the two proton distance is greater than this distance then we have to check that electromagnetic or electrostatic forces this coulomb's law will place into <coughs> effect yes now we see that so this strong nuclear force is an attractive force only not a repulsive force this is a non central force so already i told that this gravitation force as well as this electromagnetic force are central forces central forces means whenever the forces are acting along the line joining to for <clears throat> bodies here it is a bodies here it is a charges but this is not true in the strong nuclear force so it is called as a non central forces similar to that the mesons is a particles which travel between the proton and neutron so this is a messenger particles exchange of mesons only responsible for the strong nuclear force there is a uh, <coughs> exchange of gravitons only responsible for the gravitation force similarly the exchange of photons only responsible for the electromagnetic force yes the strong nuclear force is a, the electro nuclear force that is a strong charge force between that nuclei of the atom now we are going to see that weak nuclear forces these forces are between the elementary particles so what is this elementary particles so the, i will give one simple example so some element so let us consider the element x with atomic number z and the mass number a atomic number means number of protons or number of electrons mass number means number of proton plus number of neutron so whenever the some element will undergo the beta decay beta decay means it will emit one electron so this atom emit one electron so it will become a new element because in order to uh, equate that uh, both the equation both side equal so it is a z so one atomic number one electron will come down so in order to maintain the equality the atomic number of the new atom will be added so whatever this don't worry about these things so whenever there is a some element undergoes a beta decay it will emit say electron and the one more particle called neutrino neutrino is a chargeless particle so this new electron and the neutrino interact with each other that interaction is a weak nuclear force again i will say that in a beta decay the electron and the neutrino interact with each other that interaction is a weak nuclear force this is also a short range force it is around the 10 power minus 15 meter so 10 power minus 15 is the size of the nucleus these forces are occurs because of the exchange of 
bosons so the weak nuclear force is because of the elementary particles the students you may have some doubt what is the elementary particles let us see that so the elementary particles are classified into three broader cases the first one is baryons second one is mesons and the third one is leptons so the baryons means the proton and the neutrons are called baryons so the proton and the neutron are present only in nucleus so this proton and the neutron is called as a baryons mesons means pions kions that is some elementary particles present so these two are called as combined together baryons and hordons are combined together commonly called as hordons this will obey the strong nuclear force that is already we studied about the strong nuclear force the only the leptons will obey the weak nuclear force that is electron neutrino will obey the weak nuclear force so all the particles proton neutron pions kions electron neutrino anti neutrino so there is a n number of particles are available in available these particles are called elementary particles we are classify the elementary particles based on their behaviors so these two proton neutron pions kions are obeying a strong nuclear force and the leptons that is electron and neutrino obey the weak nuclear force yes dear students we will uh, compare all the four forces gravitational force weak nuclear force strong nuclear force sorry electromagnetic force and strong nuclear force so relative strength so very very weakest force is a uh, gravitation force the next one is a uh, weak nuclear force so weak nuclear force is 10 power 25 times greater than stronger than gravitation force so it is uh, if you take the magnitude of the gravitation force is one means the magnitude of the weak nuclear force is 10 power 25 that means 10 power 25 times stronger than gravitation force let us imagine that how much the gravitation force is very very big and this gravitation force is responsible for our sun and the earth in a <coughs> gravitation attraction and earth and moon gravitation attraction all those things these are all the things we are going to study in the gravitation unit detail next so the gravitation force weak nuclear force and electromagnetic force so the electromagnetic uh, comes to the third position it is stronger than 10 power 36 times stronger than gravitation force and the last strong nuclear force is 10 power 38 approximately 10 power 40 times greater than gravitation force so very very weaker one is a gravitation force and then weak nuclear force electromagnetic force and the last strong nuclear force that means the apart from the four fundamental forces which one is a stronger strong nuclear force which one is a weaker gravitation force yes <coughs> so what is the range for gravitational force and electromagnetic force the range will be a long range it is a longer distance between the two particles but weak nuclear force and strong nuclear force occur only inside the nucleus so this will be occurs in all the particles and gravitation force will occurs in all the particles that is a macroscopic as well as a microscopic for microscopic it is very very weak but electromagnetic force occurs only in charged particles weak nuclear for, uh, forces occurs in elementary particles and strong nuclear <coughs> is occurs in nucleons nucleons means protons and neutron so very simply the interaction of the nucleus inside the nucleus proton neutron will be a strong nuclear force and charged particles means electromagnetic force if it is a elementary particles that is a weak nuclear force and all the particles means gravitation force let us uh, summarize the messenger particles so the gravitons is a messenger particle for gravitation force vector bosons for weak nuclear force photons for uh, electromagnetic force and uh, mesons for strong nuclear force so these are all the very very important point in this unit what are all the messenger particles for all the four fundamental forces